to the good folks out there that uh, have this kind of situation, a dormered out uh, upstairs bedroom with the roof line sloping. This is what you might find, fiberglass or mineral wool bats right up against the roof deck. Bad idea. And we're going to show you how to remediate this and get this room cooled off. Especially if it faces south like this one. Here we go. First we're going to clean this out. Wear a mask. Okay, building tip. Here we are in the Cape Cod south facing dormered out bedroom upstairs. It gets very hot. Why? First of all, we've got fiberglass. This is probably mineral wool bats right up against the um, roof deck. So the roof can't breathe for one thing. And no air gap. And another problem with this is fiberglass and mineral wool which are, I guess, used in filters, right? You can see that the air goes right through that because of the black. That's not mold. That's just dirt that gets sucked through, um, you know, for air convecting through. So we're going to get rid of this and check back in a moment. This doesn't take long. It's a little bit messy. Make sure you wear some kind of uh, protection over your face. And if you set up a fan, going out the window you'll you'll create a uh, negative air pressure in the room and it'll literally suck the dust out in fact you can feel the breeze coming right through that insulation bad idea lose all your R value checking back in a bit we're gonna get rid of this insulation all right insulation is out everything the bays are cleaned up if you get a little bit of mold because uh, the previous uh, Insulation was right up against the roof deck. You might have gotten some condensation stuck in there. Uh, just a little bit, but not bad. Uh, a little hydrogen peroxide will do the job. That gets in the wood grain. Um, and make things smell better. Okay, once you've done that, I cut one and a half inch little uh, blocks. That's going to give you your airspace. That'll stop this. So. You want to put the shiny, the shiniest stud up. This keeps the heat out of your attic, and you're, you know, these are going to fit in here like so. And those little blocks there will stop it. Okay. I'm going to go a little further in to the attic space there, and then I'm going to seal it this way as well with some little blocks, and then use the spray foam right here to make it airtight top and bottom you want to put the blocks and you want to run it a little further up into the attic so you still have that air space and I ran it a little further down that way too as well so you get some ventilation uh, the roof earlier today was sitting at 130 degrees with that insulation right up against it this should cool it off a little bit 130 isn't too bad but boy you can imagine how hot it gets uh, up here in the summer is that uh, fiberglass is just useless. This mirrored finish is going to reflect the sun back out on those hot days and you know on cold days too so be a little lost there in the winter but um, you'll more than make up for it in how well your insulation works when you do put a fiber type insulation in there. I'm going to use mineral wool again and uh, that's it. Uh, we'll go on to the next step when we get there. Seven hours into the project. There's one finished bay uh, aside from the spray foam. It's got the air gap. Now, one thing to note is to leave a quarter inch or so gap, 3 16ths to a quarter inch gap on each side when you're measuring. So you subtract uh, 6 16ths, 3 eighths, or a half inch from your measurements for the bays. Then you have room to spray that, get that nozzle in there and spray that foam. If you can't get to it, I'd recommend taping it with uh, Tyvek tape. Uh, make sure you use PL300 when you're blowing these styrofoam blocks because uh, regular adhesive, construction adhesive, eats them up. I like putting a gasoline in a, a styrofoam cup. By the way, those are made out of uh, pink board insulation, just scraps cut to ripped on the table saw to one and a half inches for your air gap. Now and then I'll put one in the center just in case when I'm forcing insulation in there I don't want to break it in half. 
Uh, anyways, that's what it looks like there. Um, we're going to fill in there with foam too, air leakage. Um, this side's mostly done. Now you can see our air gap pretty well. Um, yeah, you can probably see right down in there, right into the attic. And it's going to be a scorcher tomorrow, so we'll see if that 130 degree roof deck, uh, see how it feels in here tomorrow. And then uh, we'll be blocking off. Uh, Oh, we, well, here's a small piece, but you'll want a bigger piece. It'll, you'll fill it in like that. A little bigger, we'll cut it to the size, and then with a gap again, and then spray foam it in on upper and lower. Again, I've gone further into the attic, so when I insulate the attic, I have something to hit up, up against so I don't block those airways. Bigger holes like that, you can just fill them with a spray of foam, and it should be fine. Or you can uh, make a little block and then spray it to save money. That's it. We'll check in when we're uh, after we're done foaming it in, and then after that, regular bat like that mineral wool. Yeah, the mineral wool fits right over the top into these bays like that. And sometimes you got to cut them. Use a bread knife. Available, it's called rock sole mineral, mineral wool. It's rodent resistant, it's mold resistant, fireproof, that's very important. And it's a, just a little more expensive than fiberglass and, and much denser, uh, water resistant. What else can I say about it? Um, that's it. Rock sole Home Depot is where you can get it or order it. Bye bye. Right, so we've got everything sealed. I put a little extra protection there. Um, foamed everything in. Our air gap. I did on some of the seams. I, I used a Tyvek tape uh, where I, where I was a little uh, hesitant. I uh, added Tyvek tape in case I thought the foam might have a little leak. Anyways. This job took two cans of foam, but I would have got three because one of them failed in the middle of the night and uh, set me back one day. Anyways, once you get your batting in there, this is rock sole, uh, mineral wool. Um, you can cut it very easily with a, a bread knife, um, like this, the serrated kind. Just saw it. Um, that works the best. Straight edge is always welcome to get around little penetrations and stuff much easier than fiberglass and like I said before it's it's fire resistant no fireproof almost uh, and rodent and water resistant mold resistant it's a, a beautiful product so um, and you get a few more um, points of R value if that really matters I don't think so at this point it's Two is not going to matter. R10 is going to stop 90 something percent of the heat from going through. And that, that keeps our sun out. It, it stayed really cool in here. Once I got those sealed in, just, just the R6 uh, polyiso cyanurate. Make sure you get the foil facing up. That one's backwards, of course, but there's, there's still foil, but it's got the red. It's better just to have the straight foil facing up. And make sure whatever you're caulking or spraying with is compatible. I know polyurethane products are compatible. Um, there's certain ones that will just melt this stuff. So be kind of careful. Make sure you read the directions, etc. Um, that's all I have to say. All I can say is the, the roof deck is a little cooler. Around 110 today. Not such a hot day. It was 1.30 the other day with the insulation against it. Um, I left a little hole just to, just to see what the roof deck was looking like. And then I sealed it up tonight. But uh, that, that said, um, on the ones that were sealed, it was exactly the same temperature as the room on the surface. So that means we're stopping virtually all of the sun heat the radiant heat it's reflecting it back out of the roof deck 
kind of like a mirror and in the winter of course uh, we'll be toasty warm because we don't have air leaks so that's it cover it with sheetrock if you're nervous and want to put a, a vapor barrier we're kind of right on the border of where you would put a vapor barrier uh, latex paint is a vapor barrier class two I think maybe class three but uh, yeah keep your house below sealed to the attic including uh, light fixtures pull those off foam them in don't let any inside air get into that attic not any not even a quarter size uh, bit otherwise then you're talking about moisture and that sucks so make sure you're sealed from the inside and painted well all right over and out